college experience shouldn't be one size fits all. That's why at Ohio University, our students step onto campus together as one class, then branch off to explore their unique interests and ambitions. At Ohio, finding your way is about far more than choosing a few electives. It's about connecting with experiences that empower you to follow your curiosity and prepare you for whatever comes next. And since Bobcats help Bobcats, you'll be supported every step of the way by faculty and alumni here and around the world. No two Bobcats follow identical paths, but by their last day as students, each one has discovered the people, places, and opportunities that will prepare them for the next chapter. At Ohio University, we go beyond the college experience to deliver your college experience, filled with connections and moments that will move you forward forever. Hello and welcome to day one of Ohio University's Fall for Ohio virtual event. I'm Matteo Remsberg, Ohio's Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Management and Executive Director of Undergraduate Admissions. And we are excited to have you join us and learn about and explore the opportunities that await you at Ohio, all from the comfort of your favorite chair. During this two-day virtual event, you will learn about the experiences that our students take advantage of daily, in and out of the classroom, on campus, in the broader Athens community, and the surrounding area. You will hear how Ohio supports our students to be successful not only while they're at Ohio, but also once they've graduated and moved on to the next chapter. You will hear from several different members of our campus community and engage with us through live chat and question and answer sessions. Our event begins today with an Ohio overview where a member of our undergraduate admissions team will share information about Athens, the special place in Southeast Ohio that we call home, and this university that delivers a world-class education. We will discuss academic and extracurricular opportunities, ways to fund your Ohio education, and then how to apply for admission. Next up will be our Ask Us Anything session. Here you'll have the opportunity to get all of your questions answered by representatives from undergraduate admissions, student financial aid and scholarships, housing and residence life, the Division of Diversity and Inclusion, and the Center for Advising, Career, and Experiential Learning. Today we'll end with an interactive live watch party of Ohio's episode of The College Tour, which features 10 involved and successful Bobcats who will share what it means to be Forever Ohio. Because we know a university education can be a significant financial investment for students and families, tomorrow we'll begin with a deep dive into how you can finance your Ohio University education with our financial aid and scholarship session. Then we'll move to perhaps my favorite part of our two-day event, our student panel. You'll get to hear from and ask questions of current Bobcat students. They are experiencing everything Ohio has to offer, so I encourage you to get your questions ready so you can really get that insider's perspective. Tomorrow's event will conclude with a guided virtual campus tour led by one of our current student tour guides. One of our goals for our Fall for Ohio event is that you leave with your questions answered. To this end, you'll have the opportunity to engage with us in live chat sessions throughout the event. This is your opportunity to ask any and all questions you have, and we can't wait to hear what is on your mind. We also want you to understand that this isn't just a place where you'll spend four years and earn a degree. This is a place where your success will be supported throughout your time at Ohio and beyond, where your experience will prepare you for your future and your memories and connections that will last a lifetime, and where you become a member of a community of forever Ohio Bobcats that know there is something truly special about Ohio University. Thank you again for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. All right, thanks so much, and thanks for joining us today. Now, I want you to take a deep breath and remember this moment, because it's gonna be the first of many firsts. This is home. That's how we want you to think about Athens and the campus of Ohio University. Bobcats blur the line between campus and community. Our location is what sets us apart. We were ranked one of the top 100 art communities in America. It's named one of the best college small towns by USA Today, 10 best. Athens has a population of right around 65,000 for the county, but you'll find that in the city, it doubles in size when the students come back to campus. So you're very much surrounded by your peers at all times. 
And campus and Athens have their own flavor and feel. So the city of Athens, you're going to be able to find lots of things to do in the uptown area, as well as in the surrounding area. Uh, so if you're into outdoorsy kinds of things, you're going to be able to access the Hawk Hawking Adena Bikeway, Wayne National Forest Headquarters just down the road, and the Hawking Hills Recreation Region, region right in our backyard. But if you're not into hiking, biking, fishing, or camping, or outdoorsy activities, you might just find that you go on a hike by going across campus without even realizing it. Uh, you really may, very much are surrounded by um, beauty when you are in the city of Athens and on campus. We've been here for 218 years, but we're most focused on tomorrow. So we want to make sure that we are giving you all the information that we can to make you successful and set you up for success. We've been changing lives since 1804. Ohio University was established in 1804, and that makes us the oldest institution in the Old Northwest Territory. Uh, so we like to say that we're the first and finest, uh, the first in uh, the Old Northwest Territory and the state of Ohio, um, the first public school. We're a designated R1 research institution, and that's the highest level of research institutions by the Carnegie Foundation. Uh, so you're going to be learning from experts in their field. Uh, we are also, we were named one of the top 100 public universities by U.S. News and World Report. And you'll be able to find uh, Ohio University pretty much around the state of Ohio if you are familiar with the state of Ohio. You're going to encounter bobcats all over the state of Ohio. Ohio University is committed to diversity and inclusion. We want to ensure that we are making people feel visible and valued. For that reason, we uh, formed the uh, President's Student Cabinet for Inclusive Excellence this past April in order to make sure that student voices are being involved in the conversation at the highest level so that students can not only be seen, but they can also be heard and that you're included in the conversation to make things happen and to make sure that action is happening on campus. We want to build an intentional culture of inclusion here at Ohio University. At Ohio, we pride ourselves on delivering a personalized experience-based education. Your experience will be yours to create, design, shape, and change. We very much believe that the difference is personal. Uh, so we want to ensure that you have a personalized, experience-based education here at Ohio University. We offer 250 academic programs for students to choose from. We have a very strong focus on undergraduate teaching and research because the majority of our population consists of undergraduate students. Um, we have a 17 to 1 student to faculty ratio. So what does that mean in real life? That means that you're going to be able to get to know your professors. They're going to be able to get to know you either through class or through office hours that they hold um, or just by messaging back and forth with them via email. Um, so I always encourage students to take advantage of those office hours, but get to know your faculty as well because you have that opportunity to do that in class. Uh, we have uh, 26 students is our average class size with 86% of our courses taught by faculty. So that means that the majority of your classes are going to be taught by faculty members, but you might encounter some classes where they will be taught by a graduate assistant or a teaching assistant, so a GA or a TA. And with those classes, you're still going to have access to a faculty member, but the coursework is just going to be taught by a TA or a GA. We have an 81.3% uh, freshman retention rate. So why is that important? We want to make sure that we're talking about what that freshman retention rate is because we want to set our students up for success. So in that first year, we want to make sure that we are providing students with the resources that they need and the support that they need to be a successful student at Ohio University. And we feel that setting them up for success in the first year is going to set them up for success for the four years uh, and then after they graduate as well. Uh, we have a lot of opportunities for students to connect one-on-one -on -one through our learning communities, peer mentoring, supplemental instruction, which is where you can um, go and get some extra help with some classes if it's maybe a larger class or if you just need a little bit more information um, with the criteria that you're covering. We offer a, the Writing Center, which is available to all students, and then there are also accessibility services for students who are looking for maybe some tutoring in a class, or maybe you broke your wrist and you need to have someone write some notes for you. You're able to take advantage of that here on campus, and those services are available for students um, no matter what year you are, uh, so not just freshman students, but all throughout the four years. We break our academics down into our academic colleges. So you can see listed that we have academic colleges um, that range uh, from those humanities and arts and sciences to more specific things. Uh, so we have our College of Arts and Sciences, College of Business, the College of Fine Arts, the College of Health Sciences and Professions, our Honors Tutorial College, Patton College of Education, 
Russ College of Engineering and Technology, the Scripps College of Communication, and University College. So this is where you're going to find all of those 250 plus academic programs broken down um, by subject area, basically. So when you're looking for finance, you're going to find that in our College of Business. So I encourage you, if you're not sure where your uh, program falls, to go onto our website and uh, utilize our um, major search so that you can see what college your major falls within. And no matter what you choose to do academically, we have honors and scholars opportunities to complement your studies. With the honors experience, we have a couple of different options for students. So you heard me mention the Honors Tutorial College. With the Honors Tutorial College, that's a little bit different than a traditional honors experience that um, you might be thinking about. So with the Honors Tutorial College, it is a tutorial-based academic experience. So it's based on the Cambridge and Oxford tutorial styles. So you'll have smaller classes and one-on-one -on -one tutorials with your faculty members uh, throughout the week and it's going to be a little bit more intense. So you're going to have those one-on-one -on -one meetings and then you're also going to be able to guide your curriculum. Um, so you're going to be able to talk about what you're wanting to talk about related to subjects and your faculty are going to challenge you to be able to do that as well. And then we also offer the Ohio Honors Program or OHP as we like to call it. And that is the honors program that is available for students who are in any kind of major, any kind of college within the university. Uh, so this program is going to be more experiential based. Uh, so we are wanting to make sure that students are able to take what they're getting in the classroom, what they're learning, and they're connecting that to what they're doing outside of the classroom, either through an internship or um, through work experiences on campus, extracurriculars, or eventually that job that you get once you graduate. Uh, so the Ohio Honors um, Program is there for students who want to be able to have an honors experience, but not necessarily have it tied directly to their major or to their academic plan. OHP designated honors and scholars programs are available for students who are looking for something that is a little bit more specific. So it's tied directly to a major program, an area of interest, um, or a subject area that is going to, um, that's something that you're interested in. Uh, the 1804 scholars is a residential um, experience related to the honors program. So it allows students that extra component of um, living with other honors students and having that experience in the residential sense and not just in the classroom. So we have a lot of different options when it comes to um, the honors experience at Ohio. So uh, we have, we wanna make sure that you have the ability to participate in that if you would like, um, but that is definitely not something that you have to participate in. Uh, so on the application, you're able to uh, say that you're interested in that, and then we send you information after that, so later in the year, to let us know that um, you want to fill out an application and then we will consider you for the program at that point. So you're gonna opt into the program as opposed to opt out of it. We are invested in your success for life. So what does that mean? Our commitment to you is to make sure that we are um, providing a shared commitment to on-time and on-plan graduation. So you'll work with your academic advisor to co-create your academic plan. So you're going to make sure that you're checking all those boxes to be able to um, get all of your classes taken care of and graduate on time um, and make sure that you are not uh, missing steps along the way. So you're able to check, with, check in with your academic advisor and your student success coach to ensure that you are taking all the steps necessary to stay on time and on plan. We have believed that experience is everything and everything is experience. So it's not just what you're doing in the classroom, it's what you're doing outside of the classroom while you're a student at Ohio University. So there are endless opportunities to get involved. We have 500 plus active student organizations on campus. So you are going to be able to find pretty much anything that you want to get involved with. And the great news is if you're not able to find a club or organization that matches what you're wanting to get involved with, you can find a couple other students who have that similar interest and start your own. Uh, we have 16 NCAA Division I athletic teams on campus. You're able to get into those varsity home games at no additional cost. All you have to do is show your student ID and your student spirit. We have 30 plus club sport and 30 plus intramural sports available on campus. So the club sport teams are available for students who still want to compete um, at like a, a collegiate level, um, but not necessarily at the varsity level. So you're still going to be competing against other colleges, universities, but you'll do some fundraising to be able to do that. Uh, and then with our intramural athletics, those are available for students who are just wanting to get involved and have fun, 
um, and not necessarily have that be a competitive thing, although some of the leagues are pretty competitive. Our Arts for Ohio um, offers students the opportunity to be able to um, go to hundreds of events at no additional cost on campus. So that means that you're going to be able to have something to do every night of the week. It's just going to be a decision of what you want to do that night. If you would like to go to a dance concert or if you'd like to go and see a lecture or visiting lecturer uh, or if you want to go to one of our basketball games on campus and cheer on the bo Bobcats in the convo, you have the opportunity to do all of those things at no additional cost. Um, all you have to do is show your student ID in most cases. We are a traditionally residential campus, so that means that our students live and eat where they learn. 6,200 of our students live on campus. Uh, so that's roughly half of our undergraduate population. So it's a lot of students who are living on campus. So you're going to be surrounded by your peers. Uh, we have 30 plus residence halls uh, and 13 food and drink venues on campus. So these include your traditional dining halls where um, you think of like that, that you know, grab and go kind of style where you go and you get your tray and then you're able to get your food and sit down. And then we also have um, cafes and markets, food courts, and we even have a food truck where you're able to use your student meal plan. So it's nice because you can switch things up a little bit. You're going to live in a community of caring. We want to foster connections. And the way that we do that is through the residential experience in our residence halls, as well as on our residential greens. So one night you might have something that's planned for your residence hall by your resident assistants or your RAs, um, or you might have something that is uh, green wide. Uh, and that's something that's going to involve the other uh, residence halls on that green as well. So there are a lot of things to do when you are living on campus and you're a residential student uh, living in those residence halls um, and learning where you are. So the way that we encourage connections on campus through the residential experience, we want to make sure that you are supported and valued as an individual at Ohio. Uh, so we offer a lot of opportunities for students to get involved on campus, but also to become a, a part of a diverse and inclusive community. Um, by taking advantage of opportunities that are offered by our Office of Multicultural Success and Retention, our Multicultural Center, the LGBT Center, Women's Center, Veterans and Military Student Services, and our Student Accessibility Services. So you have the ability to get involved and um, learn about things that are going on on campus, but then also have those supports through our um, administration and uh, through activities that are being offered on campus through those offices. We want to deliver the highest return on uh, your experience. So let's talk a little bit about outcomes once you graduate. Uh, so we want to ensure that we're checking in with our students once they graduate, that we are figuring out what they're doing, um, what fields they're in, and how they're using that uh, academic experience that they have from Ohio University. So we do offer graduate and professional school placement services, and that's through advising, test prep, and then also offering recommendations about programs to look for, um, letters of recommendation for those programs that you need them for, and then also testing rec recommendations. So if you need to do an entrance exam or um, test prep for those entrance exams, things along those lines. We have a, an award-winning career network um, that offers uh, career and internship preparation and coaching to our current students as well as our alumni. So that's part of those alumni um, benefits that we have for the Ohio Guarantee Plus. You have access to our career network um, through the alumni, through faculty connections, and then through student connections as well. So you're able to take advantage of that not only as a student, but also once you graduate. We have 280,000 living alumni around the country and around the world. So pretty much any reach of the globe, you're going to be able to find a Bobcat alum and they are going to talk to you about their experience on campus. And here is a hint, they are probably going to tell you what green is the best green to live on. And I'm gonna tell you that it's the green that they lived on when they were a student on campus. We have uh, students and alumni uh, in lots of different industries and on lots of different career paths once they graduate. And so you can see that there are just a few of the companies and organizations that we have students and alumni in. Um, so you can see some really big ones like Disney, Netflix, FedEx, um, but then also some really uh, interesting ones that I think are a little bit more local, so like Homage. Uh, so Homage is a specialty t-shirt um, retailer 
and they have some stores all across the state of Ohio. But one really neat thing is that they started out of a residence hall room at Ohio University. Um, so it's really, really fun to be able to see that in action and to see that journey that those students have taken. And then you can also see that there are lots of other um, very recognizable companies and organizations that are listed where we have alumni and then student internships as well. So we have those connections, not only for you as a student, but once you graduate as well. So we want to make sure that we are providing for you an idea of what the tuition and fees are going to look like for the current um, school year. So you can see up on the screen that we have um, the tuition and fees for Ohio residents as well as out-of-state residents. So the biggest difference between those two is that there is that out-of-state resident surcharge because we are a state um, public institution, a public institution in the state of Ohio. Um, we do have a surcharge for our out-of-state students who are not residents of Ohio. So you'll see that that's the biggest difference in cost. But when you're looking at the room and the meal plan that we have right there, we list the standard double for the room because it's among the most affordable housing options. And then we, offer, offer, we also um, list the traditional 14 because it is the lowest priced meal plan for freshmen living on campus. So you can see the totals right there. For an Ohio resident, you're looking at um, right around $25,688. And then for an out-of-state resident, you're right, looking at $36,056. Now keep in mind that that can be dependent on the room that you are um, housed in as well as the meal plan that you decide on. We want to ensure that your experience on campus is not only rich with the things that you're doing on campus, but that it's an affordable experience as well. Uh, so we do offer scholarship opportunities for students uh, and there's no separate application. So all you have to do is submit the application for admission and that's your application for scholarships. You're automatically considered for um, the uh, scholarships that we offer by completing your application by the early action deadline, which is November 15th. Um, outside scholarships are accepted and welcome. So we always encourage students, if you have an outside scholarship, like one from your community or a local organization, um, to bring that with you and to talk to our office so that they can let you know the best way to be able to either have that money sent to us for tuition and fees, or if it can be used for something else like books or living expenses. Um, scholarship considerations also include our test optional applicants. So you don't have to submit an ACT or SAT score in order to be considered for our merit scholarships. And then there are our upper class scholarships available each academic year. And we encourage students to apply for those once you are an upper class student. For students with at least a 3.0 GPA, here's a special scholarship and admission opportunity. So we offer the Ohio Admission Promise. Students who have a minimum 3.0 grade point average will earn a $2,000 scholarship um, through the Ohio Admission Promise Award, as long as we receive your FAFSA on time and your application. So you need to apply by November 15th, which is that early action deadline. Send in your high school transcript showing that minimum 3.0 cumulative GPA, as well as that strong college prep curriculum, and ensure that Ohio receives your FAFSA or your free application for federal student aid by January 15th. Now the application for the FAFSA is open now. It opened October 1st, so you can start submitting that now to ensure that that arrives to us by January 15th. And then finally, you just need to enroll fall 2023 as a full-time first-year degree-seeking student on the Athens campus. Now for a timeline for financial aid, you'll see up on the screen a few really important dates and a couple of those we've already covered. So October 1st is that first date that you'll see up there. Uh, and that's when that free application for federal student aid or the FAFSA opened. Um, so we very much encourage you to submit that, especially if you are going to be considered for that Ohio Admission Promise Award. November 15th is our early action application deadline. So you'll want to submit a complete application by that date to be able to be considered for, um, our, to have priority consideration for our scholarships, as well as those competitive admission programs that we have. In December is when we will send information about merit scholarships for uh, its students who have been admitted so far. January 15th is going to be that date by which you need to have your FAFSA to us in order to be considered, best considered for all federal, state, and institutional financial aid. And then in February is when we send out those comprehensive financial aid offers. And those are gonna be mailed to you um, to the home address that we have on file. So that's going to include not only those merit scholarships, but also any need-based aid that you might have qualified for through the FAFSA process. So when you're preparing for tomorrow, we believe that that starts today. 
So let's talk a little bit about the admission criteria. So for Ohio University, we have holistic application review. So what that means is we're going to take a look at your application as a whole. So we're not just looking at your GPA or if you choose to submit your test score, your test score. We're going to take a look at your curriculum, the extracurricular activities that you've been involved with, if you've had a job outside of school, um, if you have been involved in a community-based organization, anything like that. We are going to take all of that into consideration. So um, with our early action deadline, uh, we also have a rolling admission process. So what that means is the early action deadline is November 15th. So that's the date that you want to apply to be best considered for scholarships, um, as well as our um, selective uh, criteria admission programs. Uh, but then the rolling admission um, deadline is February 1st. And so with that date, that's the date by which you want to apply um, to ensure that you are best considered for admission to the university. We received 20, 21,000 plus freshman applications. Uh, so we have a lot of applications to go through, but we very much believe that we are taking a look at your application as an individual and as a whole, because we believe in um, an individualized and um, personalized educational experience as well. So let's take a look at what that freshman profile looks like. Uh, so that you have a general idea of what our students come in with um, when it comes to their grades and um, their GPA and things along those lines. So we found that our students, the top 50, uh, the middle 50% of our incoming freshmen, which means the, the middle, um, so not necessarily the highest or the lowest of our incoming class, um, were in the top 12 to 44% of their graduating class, and they had an average GPA of a 3.59 on a 4.0 scale. And then you can see that we list the ACT and SAT averages. For the ACT, it's 22 to 27. SAT, it's 1090 to 1280. And that's math and evidence-based reading and writing. But keep in mind that we are a test optional admission um, process. So you do not have to submit your test score in order to be considered for admission to the university. So when you're preparing to apply, a lot of students are always asking, what do I have to have to get in? What are you looking for as far as an academic profile? Um, so we tell students that we want to ensure that you have that college prep curriculum. Uh, so when you're looking at the college prep curriculum, you'll see that it's pretty general. So English, math, science, social studies, all of those general things that you're typically going to have um, for graduation. Uh, but then also students always ask about foreign language or a visual performing arts. So you can see that we have those recommended credits up there. But if you haven't taken those, don't let it scare you off. Um, because we are going to take a look at your curriculum as a whole. So maybe you're interested in going into an engineering major and you took an extra science class in order to, in, um, instead of taking a visual performing arts class. We're going to take that into consideration when we're looking at your application. So that's where that holistic review comes into play. We want to take a look at your school year as a whole and the credits that you have as a whole. And of course, if you meet the criteria to graduate for your district, you're going to um, meet those basic college prep um, criteria, as, uh, criteria as well if it's a college prep curriculum that you're following. We also encourage students who have transfer credit to send that in either at the time that they apply or once they complete those courses. Uh, so if you are pursuing transfer credits through College Credit Plus, um, other dual enrollment, AP, IB, or CLEP credit options, please make sure that you send those either the test scores or the transcript from the college or university where that credit was originally earned in order to have that evaluated and added to your student um, profile. With the application process itself, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're just looking for a few things for a complete application. We need the application itself. Uh, so you can find us on the Common App. You can also use our own institu institutional application. But you're, if you're applying to more than one school that's a member of the Common Application, it's definitely worth your while to submit the Common Application. Uh, we have a $50 application fee. However, we never want that to serve as a barrier for students to apply to Ohio University. So if you take a look at that fee, and you're just like, you know what, I just can't swing that right now. Um, I wonder if there's a way that I can have that waived or that I can talk to someone to figure out what we can do. Contact our office, talk to your admissions advisor and see what options you have. So you might have the option to qualify for an application fee waiver through your school district or you can talk to your admissions advisor and we can determine if you will qualify for an application fee waiver through Ohio University. So we never want that to serve as a barrier for students to apply. 
We also need your official transcript from your um, high school, and that needs to be sent, sent directly from the school. Uh, so either from your high school counselor or through a third party network that sends secure transcripts. And then we do have optional essay, resume, letters of recommendation, and test score opportunities. Uh, however, we do not require those. We always welcome them, uh, but we don't require those. So it's not going to be something that we have to have for a completed application. And as I mentioned, we are test optional. So that means that all applicants, including test optional applicants, will be eligible to be considered for university benefits. So this includes not only direct admission into academic programs and merit-based scholarships, but also our honors and scholars program. Um, students can submit their test scores if they're interested in having them considered, um, but it's not something that you have to do in order to be considered for all of those benefits at Ohio University. We do have some more selective admission programs, and you can see those listed right here. Um, with those selective admission programs, it might either be a specific GPA or um, curriculum that we're looking for. So if you're interested in learning more about what that selective criteria looks like, please go to our website um, where you can see there at the bottom, ohio.edu slash freshman dash selective in order to see what that criteria is. And then when it comes to the application timeline, uh, you'll see a few important dates up here on the screen, and I know we've talked about a few of them so far. Um, but the most important one is going to be that uh, November 15th early action deadline um, for the fall semester to start in 2023. Um, with our rolling admission deadline, that is a February 1st deadline. Um, but again, if you're able to get that in by November 15th, we really encourage you to do that. And then for students who might be applying for admission for um, one of our semesters that isn't really a traditional start, either spring or summer, you'll see those deadlines listed as well for rolling admission. We don't have priority um, or early action deadlines for those uh, semester starts. And that's going to be December 1st for spring and February 1st for summer. Students with a complete application will receive priority consideration for university programs and benefits by the dates listed. Okay, so I know that was a lot of information to take in, but we want to ensure that you have the opportunity to connect with us for any questions that you might have. So please don't hesitate to contact our office and connect with your admission advisor, who is someone who works specifically with your area or, or with your high school. You can also stay connected with us, us through social media. Uh, you can see Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok right there, so you can see our official accounts. And then up next is our Ask Us Anything session. This live Q&A session will feature a panel of of representatives from Ohio Student Support Services. Our team will drop a link in the chat, so we hope you'll stick around. Thanks so much. <laughs>